brother walking the lot, he keeps hide. Look to the left and the right, it's a might. I don't waste time with the mediocre below average when I get the king in sight. I don't waste time with the mediocre below average when I get the king in sight. So apparently, he goes in there and he's like waiting. Uh, the people said that they can't see him. It's going to be about an hour, 30 minute wait. So he's like, uh, okay. But get this he sends a family member in there to get the information. When he comes in, they're like, oh, we got a table for you in five minutes. And so he's like, no, that sucks. That ain't cool. Exactly. Candy takes Instagram, of course, and she kind of gives them all keys. We hate that we missed you. Uh, well, happy day, great people. Welcome to another episode of Snap Political. So glad you're here. So glad you are with me and I appreciate your support for chiming in. Hope you have been digging the new videos, switching it up. Guys, so let's get right into this. I've been thinking about this one, okay? I really have. <clears throat> I, I have to say a little disappointed at my home city for just their response and how you have a really dope content creator, food critic, come to your town to review, you know, because he was called to review the restaurants. Now, when someone is giving you a review, they're gonna give you their opinion, correct? How they feel, what they, you know, the, the taste, all of that good stuff. He has a huge following. Go and check out my brother Keith Lee, okay? But we gotta talk about this. Watch out Michelin, food critic Keith Lee visits Atlanta restaurants and he stirred up some trouble. And I won't even say trouble, but he really stirred up some people's nerves because he kept it all the way real. Yes, sir. The truth shall set you free. Come on, good people. Let's take a let's get video. I'm gonna be very transparent, honest. I am frustrated. Me and my family just trying to eat food. That's all we try to do. At the same time, I am frustrated. I understand we are all humans. I do not agree. I do not support. I do not condone shame in this business based on my experience. Like every day we've been. A TikTok star goes on a food tour, rating restaurants across the country and here in Atlanta. But is it in bad taste? Plus, we get the skinny on skims becoming the official underwear for pro athletes on the hardwood. Entertainment contributor Ali Lynn joins us with the 411. Ali, good morning to you. And let's start with the food critic. We're talking about Keith Lee sparking heated debate with his take on some popular restaurants. So which ones are we talking about? Well, listen, you know, when you got about 14 million viewers, over 600 Ooh. million views, you know, you're not so big of a deal, right? <laughs> so he goes to about 9 million restaurants, nine restaurants, not million, nine restaurants, which probably felt like 9 million going back to back. <laughs> Atlanta Breakfast Club, the Seafood Menu, Juicy Jerk, the Real Milk and Honey, Dining Experience Atlanta, the Bodega, the J Jamaican Jerk Biz, Old Lady Gang, and Toast on Linux. So he went on an entire tour now he's been gearing up for this tour to share for quite some time and he actually took to tiktok for people to advise him on where to go well the thing about it is um he didn't have the best experience in atlanta <laughs> he really didn't and um can you tell us about some of the ones like some very popular ones like old lady yeah, gang uh, that he yeah. had a little bit of my home with. city and i think there's the real book and honey the atlanta breakfast club so which ones do you want to talk about Oh, guys, well, we can talk about, uh, let's talk about, mm, let's talk about Old Lady Gang. Okay. So, apparently, he goes in there, and he's, like, waiting. Uh, the people said that they can't see him. It's going to be about an hour, 30-minute wait. So, he's like, uh, okay. But get this. He sends a family member in there to get the information. When he comes in, they're like, oh, we got a table for you in five minutes. And so, he's like, no, that sucks. That ain't cool. Exactly. Candy takes Instagram, of course, and she kind of gives them all keys. We hate that we missed you. Uh, you know, when it's uh, uh, during the weekend, we try not to do to-go orders and things like that, blah, blah, blah. No. Totally skipping over the fact that he got played with with his time because he sent in a family member as a decoy. Oh. So the thing about it is he tries to get these real deal experiences so people, when they go, they know what to expect. But you can't just go in there and just, you know, say one thing and then turn around and see it's him and then it's a whole nother vibe. And but come on. <laughs> that's what it is guys it's about status and we know that but however however I like how he did that and I like how he does it he said I think that may be you know typically his way to move or maybe just it wasn't in, in Atlanta because he's you know very well known especially a young amongst the young people and he was spotted once again right away he came up in a building of course he was recognized but come on. And what, I, what I'm learning is that these people aren't liking that somebody is putting you up on blast. It's time for you to get your service in order. It's time for you to step up your food game. And not just because you somebody or you a celebrity or you have achieved a certain level of accomplishment. Because we all somebody. 
does not mean it gives you the right to think that people aren't going to be honest about the service you provide, provide the quality of service and the quality of your food. I'm so glad he did this. <laughs> I, I'm taking a lot of these restaurateurs are going to have to say something on um, social media. So, but he, you know what? He does encourage patrons to try the restaurants for right. themselves. He's not saying not to go to them, right? He does, and I think that that's the cool part about it, right? So it's like, even though this is my experience, this may not be your experience, which is fine. I still want to highlight these yeah. things. He, he really wants to support small businesses and businesses of color as well. So I, I'm here for it. But Atlanta got to tighten up. We got to tighten up. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And let's move along to Kim Kardashian because she really scored. Okay, so I know we're going to get in this comment section, so that's just one part of it, okay? Let's go to another clip that I have. Let's see. I got a couple of them. Let's do this one. Week has been insane. This is a recap of everything that's happened this week. The good and the not so good. Let's talk about it. Let's, Let's just address the it. elephant in the room. These two videos were posted yesterday. Hey, I love it. Long story short, me and my family tried to go to Old Lady Gang, and that situation just wasn't for me. And I want to be very clear. Usually when celebrities come in, they want to be treated like that. I'm not a celebrity. That's real. I'm a normal person. So I get the employee was just trying to do our job. I'm just not the target audience for that kind of treatment. So we went to another place. We went to the Toast on Linux timeline. We went to Old Lady Gang. I shot the video. We left and went to Toast on Linux. Toast on Linux is where those two videos were taken. I had no intention on shooting the video. We just went to eat food. We walked up. It was a two and a half hour wait time. But the people that were waiting were dressed to the nines head to toe on sunday in atlanta people go to brunch so they expect to wait we didn't know that while i was there me and my wife took a picture with a lady who does food review she has nothing to do with the situation other than the fact that we took a picture together while she was eating they said it was a two and a half hour wait time we said okay we're gonna go somewhere else while we walked out the entire staff don't nobody want to wait two and a half hours for their food okay i'm not gonna wait no two and a half hours i'll give you 30 minutes and if i really think you're good and been in before and you got some great reviews i may give you a little longer but two and a half hours no sir walked out behind us they attempted to implore us to stay and said that we could sit down immediately again i'm not the target audience for that usually i would just leave but before we left we saw two cars with two people in each car so they were separate it was two girls in one car over here it was two girls in one car over here one car had been waiting for an hour and a half the other car had been waiting for an hour one car was trying to do takeout one car was trying to sit down so again the people that were waiting inside that were dressed so to the nines they didn't mind waiting but the people that were sitting in these cars i didn't like that so the owner and the manager walked out and they offered us a table for us to be able to sit out. We told them as a family that we would do takeout, but we wouldn't eat in the restaurant. And the only way we would do takeout is if they gave the table that they was going to get us to the two girls that were sitting in this car, which they did. And on top of that, they had to make sure the girls that were sitting in this car got takeout before we did, which again, they did. The staff and the owner were extremely accommodating. They were nice, they were accommodating, they were professional. Ridiculous. And again, that's just my experience. When we got the food, we all enjoyed it. Personally, the food was good. Well, that was good. Yeah, I wasn't recording anything. I was just eating. We paid for our food and I tipped the waitress five hundred dollars. I wasn't gonna say nothing about it because again, I was just eating food. But these videos came out and I just wanted to make sure we clear it up. The lady we met inside the restaurant had nothing to do with anything. She was just eating food. And I wasn't arguing with nobody. I don't argue. I even said in the video that they recorded. I'm just Keith. Social media aside, I'm a normal person. Cardi B went live last night and she said this about her situation. <laughs> right. This guy called Keith, they does restaurant review. And I'm like, who is that? Who is that? I know that being a restaurant owner is a lot of hard work. It is. And so many people have invested money in their restaurants. People, you know, like this there is there everything. But I always find this eating in Atlanta, it is such an event. You could barely order in Atlanta restaurants. Like you go like, hey, I would like to make order. Oh yeah, we don't make we don't we don't take orders. They don't do no pickup orders, they don't do delivery. God is amazing. Shout out to Cardi B. The real milk and honey is one of the restaurants that me and my family went to. The real milk and honey and milk and honey are two different restaurants. The real milk and honey is a restaurant we went to. Milk and Honey is a restaurant we did not attend. I already was very clear and transparent, asking y'all not to leave hate anywhere. But specifically, don't leave hate to the Milk and Honey. They didn't do anything. Update, I just received a notice from the owner of the Milk and Honey. The place that we did not go to, them and their employees been receiving death threats. I'm absolutely 100% not with that. That's so, That's so corny horrible. and so lame, regardless of my opinion on any restaurant, even if it's the real Milk and Honey. We don't 
do that over here at all. If you do that, you are not somebody that watch me and not somebody that support with me and my family. Amen. God bless you. And I mean, under any circumstances, that's not okay in my eyes. But again, if y'all would listen to me, don't leave hate nowhere. If you would like to have your own personal experience on any of these restaurants, I encourage you to go. But now to the most important thing. These are all the amazing things we're able to do while we're in Atlanta. I've been through so much to open this restaurant. Ooh. Didn't even know I was going to be able to open it. Wow. And you know tonight who walked through my door? Please. So dope. Yes. I love that. At night. And this is the one. Wow. That might be a spot we have to try when we go to ATL, guys. When we go back. Oh, that Our is so life. cool. God did this. Bird did this. Keith Lee did this. Nigga, we did this. That is so cool. Keith Lee is sparking a lot of conversation about Atlanta's yes, foods. <laughs> Packed of Keith Lee. Look at these cars lined up, y'all. This area is always That's empty, so but this cool. is just one side. It is never packed. But this is the dining experience. Ooh, you got the people attention now. Mm-hmm. Talk go. that talk, George. You got the people attention now. Now they know it's not a game no more. Shout out to every single person that we met while we were there. The hospitality from the locals in Atlanta, crazy. Somehow I'll never forget. This has been another stop on a Keith Lee and family food tour. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Y'all, I just love it. You know, when we can actually support our own businesses. I'm a, I'm a business supporter, entrepreneur, no matter what your background is. However, I still love the fact that we can support each other and in the black community. And I also, on the flip side, don't like how the people, you know, some of these people didn't appreciate his honesty and reviews. That means you need to check yourself and get your business in check. And I, and I love it. Now, I'm going to definitely shout out Atlanta for having, having some really dope restaurants because the last time we were there and a couple of times we were there, we would go to a couple and didn't have this quite experience. We did have um, some like a, a line, somewhat of a line when we went to the Slutty Vegan. But um, it kind of moved pretty fast. It was, you know, it was pretty, it was okay to me. It wasn't anything to, to rave about. I've had some like outstanding A1 vegan food. It was okay. Um, don't have to go back there. But I'm just saying that, you know, what he does should do make a business want to say, hey, okay, let me look at some things here because this guy has a large following and this is what he's, this is what he's doing now. And people respect what he says. And he also, also prefaces that lets you know that if you want to go and try for yourself, do it. And he's not bashing any businesses, guys. He's not bashing anybody. He is really being honest. And I want to talk about this last part. I'm going to sk skip the other one. But it talked about him canceling the food tour because of threats. This is what really got me. And I'm just like, now you mean to tell me we gonna stoop this low. Come on, people. Step your game up. Take responsibility for, for your lack of being A1. Come on. If a man is taking his time out and then he was he, he was invited, he was, I mean, so not only did, did you ask him to come and do it, but then when he came, you have a problem with it because he's just not gonna say it's all good because of you're supposed to be somebody. spot of the family food tour atlanta will be there soon if you know any mom and pop shops that have great food great customer service but need the marketing please either email me dm me or leave them in the comments below god bless you have an amazing day y'all be safe atlanta here we come yeah 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 okay let's talk about it every restaurant that me and my family go to we were either a invited by the restaurant themselves or b was told about the restaurant 100 plus times from locals from people who mention me from people who email me dm me 99 percent of the time i never go to a random restaurant with that being said my opinion was asked for so many narratives being pushed and it's insane to me but let's be honest what else do you want from me hmm. if i go to a bunch of restaurants and have a string of good experiences then i'm being too nice I'm lying, the narrative is being pushed that my eye roll is fake and I'm lying just to help people. Then on the same hand, if I go to two or three restaurants where I don't have the best experience, now I'm tearing down businesses, now I'm being mean, now I need to shut up. I need to How your eye roll fake? I mean, this is what gets me. And, and the beauty of this all is when he goes to these mom and pop restaurants, they get so blessed. Their business like quadruples in a very short amount of time, like instantly almost. Such a true blessing. I mean, he is such a true blessing to businesses. Look at his character, his demeanor. I am just so, so 
you know, grateful that he's even taking his time, you know, out to do this. And they should be, too, whether they get a good review or their review got some negative feedback constructive criticism let me say that and even then with that he's not even bashing the people he's simply giving his his views to mind my business i need to sit down again i can't win from this i understand everybody gonna have an opinion on the situation you can disagree with me you cannot like what i say completely understand and i'm okay with that but when my safety and my family safety start coming into play that's where i draw the line at but what can't happen is when my family or the restaurants or anybody's safety start coming into play. It's absolutely overboard. Especially when I was asked to give my opinion. Because you telling me my opinion only matter if it's positive. Because mm -hmm. if it's positive, you got my face plastered on the wall and you right. saying he keep in here. But if it's negative, I need to sit down somewhere and you don't know who I am. That's crazy to me. It was so much positive that happened in Atlanta that was shunned by the negative. It was so many restaurants we was blessed enough to help. We went to an array of restaurants like we always do at every city. I'm going to be 100% transparent, 100% candid. Me and my family will postpone touring if other cities going to be like this. Hmm. Every review not going to be the best. I'm going to be 100% honest. If you want me to come, please understand, I will be honest. That's right. I don't mean no harm. I don't have no malicious intent. I mean that, and when I say it, I mean it. People will be like, well, you know what you're doing. You know if you give a bad review, people are going to come and flood it with hate comments. What else do you want me to do? I'm telling people not to go and leave hate comments. I'm telling people not to leave negative comments. I'm telling people... Make their own opinions. You want me to lie and say I had a good experience? Or you want me to only post the videos when I have a positive experience? Then all of the videos I post is only going to be positive experience. Then the narrative is going to be pushing. I'm only trying to be positive, And we're going to end up in the same situation. And on top of that, I think something is getting lost in translation. When that happens, the restaurants that we are blessed enough to help won't be helped in the same manner. Because mm -hmm. people won't show up in the same way. Mm -hmm. Because my reviews would be inauthentic. One of the reasons people show up the way they do is because they know I'm being honest. And I'm giving my personal opinion and my personal perspective That's on the right. situation. But That's if right. I don't do that anymore, it won't be the three or four hour wait times and now we won't be able to help business owners and we won't be able to give back to the community in the grand that's scheme that's what right. this is about it's about giving back it's about giving back to the community it's about stimulating the economy that's what it's about all the other stuff i'm a simple man in real life as long as me and my family healthy and safe and we can live a comfortable life i'm straight again it's a double edged sword i understand with great power comes great responsibility god made me for this i'm built for this hmm. at the end of the day i just want to eat food walk in my path if you want to be on the Amen. journey you are more than welcome if you don't God bless you. Peace God out. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Okay, guys, that, that sums it up for me. I mean, I absolutely love it. First time hearing about Keith Lee since the review. And I am, you know, just, I like to see other entrepreneurs support each other, especially black people support black businesses. I do. You know, we have a lot of growing to do in our businesses, in our community, but many of us have great outstanding businesses, provide great customer service, have quality products, and we support you. That's I'm that person have always been. And if your service is crappy and so is your product, I'm going to let you know better yet, who is the owner? That's me and have been that way. And I love the fact that he's doing this for a living. He's making money, but he's also able to bless other businesses and they're these their their businesses turn around significantly significantly for the better so keep doing what you're doing Keith Lee keep doing such a wonderful job yes God has created this for you and that path for you wish you well on your journey and those spots in the ATL that need to raise up you need to raise up boo yes those restaurants that he said your service was crappy the wait long was too cotton picking long then you're not following one minute you say you can do it ash and the next minute it's not available come on step it up i don't care who you are because with word of mouth will either make or break your business let's keep it real you are all right guys let's get into this comment section i got my i got some at aliens i know that are on my channel that follow me support me let's get in this comment section let me know what you're thinking about that how do y'all feel have y'all tried any of those restaurants i think we went to the atlanta breakfast bar once before the food, you know, the food was okay, what we had. I said, okay, once again, there are lots of great restaurants in the ATL. Lots of them, especially on the, I want to say the west side, Cascade, that area where uh, Dr. Barbara King's church is. They built up so much over there. It's a couple of nice restaurants we tried. Even in that Cascade on the other end down there where that Publix is, Cascade, it was another um brunch spot that we went to oh my gosh i wish i knew the name of that spot so good we had to wait but it's it, it, it ran smooth we got a table and it, it ran real smooth so keep those restaurants that are a1 keep being a1 because we support you but those who need to tighten up tighten up and we'll support you too let's go subscribe guys if you want to see more content like this let's get in this comment section i love you and i'll see you in the next video yeah